evening everyone. Welcome to the Therapeutic Value of Art, a first of its kind art exhibition in India. This exhibition showcases how art can be used in therapy in conjunction with other approaches to help express thoughts and feelings, to gain personal insights and to generally enhance the therapeutic process. The curator and facilitator of this exhibition is Susan Curry, an educationalist, photographer, art therapist and cross-cultural communicator. The exhibition will showcase the artwork of Susan's students from all over India. The exhibition will also showcase artist, photographer and designer Sam Bullo, Bullo's work. Um, in the many years that I have been conducting um, art workshops, uh, not just the therapy workshops but also the teacher training workshops, I have witnessed a lot of uh, different emotions that people have expressed when they've been doing art. Um, I've also seen people um, share things that they say they have never talked about in their lives before. Uh, one person in a workshop uh, shared something that happened to her at the age of four um, that she had never shared with anyone but because of the art she shared it in the group. Another person What you're doing here as well, with therapy, with art, it's, I just want to say thank you because it's been incredible to see what you are doing, what you made me feel in that one moment when you took me there and asked me to put the rose there and then I read what was written and it was exactly what I've been going through until yesterday and today it seems like <laughs> another day and thank you, thank you so much. To get into the inner dimensions of my being, it's like... Uh, getting to the core of myself, be expressing and allowing my whole body and mind to just using that as a medium, using the paint, you know, connecting there and doing it is, is, is an expression of, uh, I mean, it's just like driving with a flow, something like that. It's, uh, it's that the inner process of this is a sort of inner connection that comes up when I take a paint or 
that allow, you know, if, when I allow, when I ask a client to do that, it's like going to the deepest sense of experience which is going beyond words or beyond thoughts. So that has been a very enriching experience for me. So, I think I look at art as, as painting, as therapy, um, because I feel like a paper and a bunch of colors can be the most non-judgmental other side that one has. Um, there are a lot of times when, um, I, th I think all of us try to compare problems and pain and um, a lot of negative emotion with either stuff that has happened to us in the past or we see someone else going through something. And we tend to compare a lot. And I feel like when I'm painting, there's no judgment from coming from the paper, ever. Um, I, I've painted through um, something as trivial as feeling um, ugly and bad one day. Or I've painted uh, in response to much heavier, much darker emotions like abuse. Then painted through, I don't know, just stuff that I'm going through with work or abandonment um, issues and whatnot. And then I can still go back to working through something as uh, seemingly silly as um, I don't know, I missed my pop. And there has never been judgment that I felt after I painted. It's always been very comforting. I think in that sense, it is so therapeutic. That in my art, which um, has helped me to unlock certain feelings and discover certain things about myself, which I would have in the past either locked away or denied or put on the shelf for another time. When I feel something that feels unpleasant, or if I'm depicting something uncomfortable, or if a memory surfaces through my art, um, I acknowledge it and I allow it and I feel it. And continuing with the artwork keeps me on track with that, whereas not having the art in the past and in general, not having the art, I would immediately lock it away again and run away from those uncomfortable feelings. Uh, for a very long time I would constantly destroy all of my artwork which you know would shake everybody else up and it wouldn't affect me. I mean at some point yeah Susan has collected some of my artwork to I mean she's 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 always saved me saved my artwork from myself uh, and and Sally has done so very often you know um, and that for me has been something I'm still trying to work at, the fact that I can uh, get my piece to be out here and share them with the rest of the world. At the moment, it's, it's, I've only started at a very you know, virtual level because it fits at some other virtual level that I live in. But that's been the process of art uh, therapy for me. And I mean, I've never looked at it as therapy and I still don't. I think it's something that just part of uh, part of my human psyche, you know. And I just paint when I want to. Uh, the creation of the work takes more than more than a day for me. Only because I attended Susan's workshop in 2014, I think. Yes, uh, that I got back to. I had somehow guts to take the paint brush again in my hand and do something about it um, so that was a big leap because for me um, I mean uh, unlike Smita the written words comes more naturally to her to me that came more naturally but I never I uh, sort of clo had closed that part of me uh, so this gave me a big opportunity to do that and also uh, I always understood uh, sort of the meaning behind art if not the skill part but the meaning behind art but uh, I never had the vocabulary or understanding or terminology but when I attended Susan's workshop so I realized that um, uh, this is what it is <laughs> so now I know uh, a blind man 
uh, means different term man of 35 years uh, lost his vision at the age of 4 means deaf dumb and blind is living his life beautifully with the language of touch and he can do all the things means washing clothes giving it to laundry and all so i thought how he is living so it's an art he is living so the way of living thinking or doing things or dealing with things is an art so each and every one in this world including the watchman or sweeper and all of you we all are artists in a way so that no was coming from that side i think each one of us who are from the artistic field or otherwise have had have undergone some kind of therapy this evening and uh, thank you susan thank you everybody present here some of you have come from bombay and uh, we had a packed house some people have left but i think whoever was here we got a lot of individual uh, feedback that they really enjoyed uh, the experience so thank you very much this exhibition is going to be on for two weeks until 30th uh, there is a schedule of workshops which we are holding in between yeah there's one tomorrow and there's a leaflet giving the entire schedule so please have a look at that uh, the ones who've not given their email ids i see some new faces please give them to us to have many more such experiences with canada okay thank you good night